Geek Squad.
Squad. It's 10 minutes after 7. My name is Kobe Spike and Kromaya tuned into Joy 99.7 FM. And on Tuesdays, exactly at this time, sometimes earlier, we're here to talk tech. The show is Geek Squad and it's brought to you by MTN, MTN everywhere you go. Yes. So if you don't know what Geek Squad is about, it's a tech show on radio that tries to educate you about all the latest trends in tech, tries to inform you about everything that you need to know. And we try to educate you as well, because as you well know, we're in the 21st century and in the fourth industrial revolution, that means that technology is at the forefront of everything. If you don't know, you're probably using technology to hear me right now. If it's not on your radio, it's on your TV, it's on your smartphone, through the internet, through the radio waves, it's technology. It's not voodoo. It's tech. And we are the custodians of tech on Radio Enjoy FM. So if you're tuned in here, just know that... We've got you, haven't we? Sure, certainly. <laughs> yes, I was asking everybody, <laughs> listeners and guests alike. So today we're going to have a quick convo with the folks from IPGH. That's the uh, ICT Professionals yes. Association. So if you haven't heard, which I'll be surprised because if you listen to this show, you probably follow me on social media. And you can see that I've been posting some countdowns telling you that something is about to happen. The tech jobs fair tjf 2023 yes tech jobs fair i didn't say catering jobs i didn't say vocational job tech you know the the jobs that are paying the big bucks if you're not working if you're working in tech you know what i'm talking about because yeah you're laughing all the way to the bank at the end of every month if you're not laughing you're in the wrong profession <laughs> am i lying no 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 so i'm here yeah. <clears throat> sorry with Kafui and Julia. Yes. They are from IIPGH and they're yes. here to tell us about the Tech Fair 2023 happening at the Accra International Conference Centre tomorrow. Right? Yes, it's happening tomorrow. Yeah. Live in Khaled. Live. Yes. From 9 a.m. From 9 a.m. Like in the morning, you know? In the morning, yeah. yes. We're not going Prompt. to start in the afternoon. No. In the morning. So there's yes. enough time to take it all in. It's happening only for one day. Yes, yes. it's just a day's program. So you hear? Full pack day. Don't sit down there and say that, hey, I'll come the next day. No. Tomorrow is one day and one day only because that opportunity comes but once. Mm. And tech job, you never know. You come there, you can't meet Google. Okay, let me not get ahead of myself. <laughs> Julia. Yes. I'm in the tech space. I'm a geek. I'm a techie. I love tech. Yes. My job doesn't pay me dollars. 
I want dollars. And I hear that tech job paid dollars. Is that why I should come tomorrow? It's the reason why you should come tomorrow. Mm. I mean, if you don't get good dollars, you could still have good CDs, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the dollars, I can't spend it, so I have to yes, change it. Exactly. Cities. Right. So what should people expect when they come tomorrow? So um, you should be expecting to see a lot of um, employers, a lot of companies, a lot of industries who are going to be around. They all have jobs to offer, mm. and they are looking for the right skills to employ. Yes, so when you come, you can have live interviews. We're going to have breakout sessions. We're going to have um, training. People are going to be trained on soft skills, what you need, the skills you require to be able to pass your interviews and then land some of these roles, yes. So if you heard Julia mention, she mentioned soft skills. And if you missed yesterday's live session with Derek, like, which I moderated and I really enjoyed because I learned a lot of things which I used to apply for a job today. Nah, yesterday when you said this, I used to apply it for a job. So if you missed it, yes. This this whole fair is organized by IPGH, that's the Institute of ICT Professionals. What yeah. is this association about? So the Institute of ICT Professionals is a professional body for um, quote unquote ICT professionals. Mm. So if you're in a space of ICT, you should see yourself as gearing towards being a professional. Uh, but we don't only stop there. Uh, we believe in what we call the early start. Mm. You know, back in the days, uh, we used to do a lot of things when we were kids. And we believe that being a kid, you learn faster and everything. So we also believe in the early start. For which reason the association doesn't only uh, lead to grown-ups, as in professionals, but we include young ones. So in our association, we have student members as right. well. So if you're in school and you think uh, you'd only have to wait till you become a graduate or a professional to be part of the association, no. You can be part of us whilst being in school. So we have student membership and we have professional membership and we have business members as well. Right. So from students, you can have members. From professionals, that's when you've graduated, you can mm -hmm. be a member. And then when yeah. you, are, you start a business... You can also be a member. Exactly. So, because most of the time when we hear professionals, we're thinking, oh, you need to have a certificate, you know, to prove. Like, if I come to join the ICT professionals and I don't have yeah. a certificate, you guys are like, no, 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 you can't join us. But no. So, so you know, we, we, we break it down, we demystify the, the, the whole process. Uh, unlike other professional bodies where it is a closed group, we have it opened. Because we believe that today you don't necessarily need to be a nerd or a hardcore engineer, hardcore tech, to be part of the association mm -hmm. because everybody is using technology one way or the other. We're here communicating to the public. We're using uh, technology. People drive. People use mobile phones. Kids today use serious technology to learn at mm -hmm. home using uh, kids' laptop, kids' uh, tablet and everything. Uh, they use mobile phones. They use the television, the smart TV and everything. Microwave. Mothers use a lot of technology at home. We have the smart home. We have the smart forest, government, e-services and all that. So we believe that technology is not only for the nerd or for the hardcore. So it's open for everybody. So as part of our initiatives, we do a lot of things for kids, we do for the public, we do public sensitization a lot, we write a lot of articles in the papers, BNFT, uh, mm. to educate uh, everybody who reads. And we, we, we do that education in, simply, in simplest forms for everybody to understand. We break it down into pieces. We do not want to become the kind of uh, uh, professional body that would only uphold to uh, the nerds or the so-called hardcore engineers mm. or hardcore uh, ICT technicians or professionals if you may say great yeah. so with what have we said that means that if you come there tomorrow you don't have to be a nerd or mm -hmm. a hardcore you know geek to to come to the tech fair mm -hmm. you can be someone who is interested in tech who has a passion for tech who actually uses tech Use so sometimes some people don't think they are techies but you are some advanced excel ninja yeah. You know, you can use Excel yeah. better than somebody who has a computer science degree even. You are essentially, you know, positioned for a tech job, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's open for anyone who uses tech. It's not limited to geeks and nerds and hardcore people like Kafui just said. So tomorrow, it's and one thing I have to add, it's free. 
absolutely, absolutely free. free. Wait, Very free. you know, <laughs> most of the time you do fairs, some people have to pay. You're giving people jobs and they're not paying for anything. No. no. So, IPGH is a capacity building organization. Right. We don't believe in uh, offering lots of services at a fee. Hmm. We believe that we get everybody on board. We look for people who can pay for public to participate. Now, schooling is very expensive, right? If we should open up schooling in terms of uh, ICT for people to attend, I'm sure a lot of people will stay home, mm -hmm. right? So we believe that opening it up for the public is good enough. We look out for people who can pay for others to attend. To attend so yeah. therefore, our program is free, absolutely free. It's been paid for already. Everything is in order. Come attend free. Register online free and attend to take a bit of a lesson. Come and listen. Come and take some small notes and add it to your uh, already learned stuff mm. in school. Things that are not taught in classroom. Come and learn. A lot of things are not taught in classroom that you need to learn to apply in your daily life, in your work, in your education, in your home, movement, anything. Just come and learn because these things are not taught in classroom. How to put your CV together is not taught in classroom. Yeah. You'd only be told, go get a CV. But you would not be told the kind of keywords mm -hmm. to have in your CV mm -hmm. for the uh, uh, employer who is looking out for some kind of persons. You are not taught, you are not taught how to uh, compose yourself in an interview in class. So just like a soft skills. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yes, yeah. soft exactly. skills yes. So come and take a listen and uh, it will help you. Great. So Julia is smiling. You said it's free. Somebody paid for it. So Julia, you paid for it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we want to know so we can thank <laughs> Yeah, so let's thank the Affos Foundation. Right. Um, Gigs, um, that's um, Invest for Jobs. is a company from Germany. Okay. It's a German corporation. We have GFEC. We have Jobberman. We have Letty Arts. We have Nita. We have a lot of partners. Right. But this is mainly sponsored by the Air Force Foundation. Right. Yes. Which is a German organization. German organization. The, uh, uh, German economy. In fact, it's a long word. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. But basically, it's, just it's a German website. German just, corporation, yes. yes, yes. So tell us, tell us the website, Julia. What's the website? Uh, we have techjobfairghana.com. So, so if, if you, you go to, to that web, yes, go to the website right now, techjobfairghana.com. You can register right now. So if we don't register, mm -hmm. so maybe somebody is listening right now in a trot in a taxi going home, but data is finished. <laughs> so if they're not able to register in the shop tomorrow, can they still take part? Yes. Yes. Come tomorrow at the entrance, you would be asked to register. To register. There's a di yes. digital registration uh, 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 service Booth around. Okay. Uh, uh, just, at just, the, just at the entrance. At the entrance, yes. You register and then you just walk in. But preferably you re register before you come. Before if you, you come. To be in a queue. Exactly. When you register, you get a notification and uh, some code just to uh, ask your pass. Mm. Michael, Winston, have you registered? I can see Michael on his phone. Winston's phone is probably now booting up, so that's why he hasn't registered. So I can understand. But... Michael, have you registered? <laughs> you for tomorrow morning be there, <laughs> and we'll have you registered. Yeah, but so we will be there. Yeah, and we will come. I, I want to, you know, because of what I I I, I learned yesterday from Derek. I'm sure there's a lot more. You know, yeah. we learn something new every, every day. day. Every day, and every day, that every opportunity true. to learn something, especially when it is free, grab yeah. it. So if you're listening to us tomorrow tech jobs fair it doesn't mean you have to be a techie it doesn't mean you have to be a geek it doesn't mean you have to be a nerd it doesn't mean you have to be a computer science graduate or it professional all those organized by the institute of ict professionals yes just come you never know that skill that you have in you you can use microsoft paint to do something that people use micro uh, photoshop to do exactly. that skill could come in handy yeah you microsoft word you can do things that nobody can do i know people can do things in powerpoints that you'd see and you're wondering hey charlie people get hired the to presentation do powerpoint presentations yeah if you know you have that skill come you never know there's a job out there looking for you uh, somebody's asking can we please join online so Yes, there is uh, yes. Uh, online uh, access. Okay. So once you register, there's an option to choose whether you come in person or online. Yes. Online. Okay. Once so you, you heard online, you would receive uh, another notification for the link. The to link. Yes. Join online tomorrow. Live streaming. Live stream. Live stream. Yes. yes. Okay. So you heard it. So sign up. 
register and there's even a survey there also take the survey so that we can get some feedback know yeah. what to do with all that data yeah. and if you have any questions you can drop in fact don't even kind of ask questions right now go and register when you come there come and ask the questions ask all come and ask all the questions all the questions yeah, yeah if you want to see winston and michael to be there yeah. so yeah michael this, I, i'm putting you on the spot because you have to be there people are looking for michael they only see michael <laughs> on the screens but they want to see you in person so michael come winston i know he'll be there you know winston winston is he's understanding if I turn up and no one recognizes me, that's also fine. I will no, recognize you. Recognize. Out there now. <laughs> you know, you know, you. I will recognize nobody you. recognize you. Understand? You probably come there looking like mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed character. <laughs> that's what you do. You kind of dress like you're going for cosplay. Eh? Michael, come there dressed like you're dressed now, so people can recognize. Not wearing a mask and that thing he wears on his head. What's, what's it called? The thing he wraps around his face that nobody can see him. What the master? Who? Not, which one? You you have many things that used to cover your face. <laughs> you want people to recognize you? Show your face. No. Okay. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, it's the tech jobs fair happening at our Cry International Con- hey. conference center. Conference center <laughs> at nine a.m. Yes. Tomorrow. It's free tomorrow. It's free. Organized by the Institute of ICT Professionals, Professionals supported yes. by the Afos Foundation. Foundation. Yes. And many more. Many, many more. other partners. Yeah. Yes. yes. In fact, I should add uh, that uh, we'll be having NITA, National IT Agency from mm-hmm. government. YEA will be there. Uh, National Service Scheme mm. will be there. GIFEC will be there. GIZ will be there. In fact, GIZ will be hosting the last session, which will be uh, more of a, a, a cocktail a business networking right. session where you can get to meet uh, those who haven't seen Kobe Spikey yet. You can meet Kobe Spikey, mm-hmm. uh, meet uh, others, I mean, Aldebra, meet Kafui Day, mm. meet other businesses, uh, meet MTN, Vodafone, Lene Services, Jobberman, uh, uh, Fourth IR, and the rest. Wow. In Jane, get to speak to them, strike some acquaintance, get a business card, a business card yeah. for tomorrow's sake. Right. The future of work is very different mm. from yesterday. Great, great, great. Thank you very much, Kafi. Thank You're you welcome. very much, Julia. And thank you, the IC- Institute of ICT Professionals, GH, for organizing this and making it free for everyone to attend. I'll be there. Michael will be there. Winston will be there. I will say will a, 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 big a special to invite well. to the women as well. Yes, 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 the yes. The ladies out there. The ladies out there. Last yes. week we had that you know, the show about... A lot of women joining STEM, so yes. yeah, come, yeah, come. Yeah, this, yeah, is a, this, yeah. a, this is an opportunity. A very good opportunity, you. yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, I'll come it and is. take my space. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this year's theme is geared towards inclusivity. Right. Mm-hmm. So women, it's, 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 it's a must. We want to uh, push more females in technology. Mm. Yes. You know, that's why the theme is focusing on inclusivity mm. and uh, making, uh, uh, creating more sustainable jobs. So women should be part. Women should come, attend the program, attend the fair to have an understanding that uh, tech is not only uh, for, for, the, men. For, for, for men. For the men, yeah. no, not Although at all. Although it's male-dominated, it's not yes. for men. It's for all. So females come. We need more females in the tech industry. Let's I kick out the more. men. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we haven't had a Q&A session in a while. You get to ask your tech questions. And I personally have a tech question for Michael and Winston. We'll be back after this commercial break. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Homes, businesses, communities, whatever the space, wherever the place, Azar is the paint. Azar paints are high quality, long lasting, and always give a great finish that will make your space shine. At Tip Brighton, Azar, still number one. From the Azar Group. The other day, I visited Kweku at his spunky new office to congratulate him on opening his business. And man, was I impressed. The business is just moving quick. The sales, customers, everything is just working seamlessly. The secret? Mm. He said, it's empty and business broadband. In this fast-paced environment, we need fast and reliable internet to support all business types. No laggy online meetings, great download and upload speeds, impeccable business management systems, all inclusive. I mean, you can have it all. I signed on immediately. (laughs) To enable your business stay ahead and stay connected, make sure you're signed on to the best internet made just for businesses. MTN Business Broadband. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh and manage your account on my MTN app. Call 0244-308-111 for more information. MTN.
And we're back. The show's Geek Squad and is brought to you by MTN. MTN everywhere you go. So, yes, I did remind you, I did tell you, and I'm going to remind you that today is a Q&A session. So I'm here with Winston Woodger in the green corner. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Ajete in the black corner. <laughs> and our, yeah, champion of the night. <laughs> Prince Safu in the red corner. It's, it's, yeah, so, it's, that, it's that red. Bro, you know I'm a man. Men can't see multiple shades of colors. All red be red. I correct me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does look a bit orange with brown. Yeah, color blind. I, d- I can't tell you what color that is. Color yeah, color. only a, yeah. A, a lady will come and say it's maroon fuchsia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, me, I can tell you is hush. You know, F E zero 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 one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah, I can't Put pick a tool. Yes, yes. So, if you're listening to us today, you're allowed to ask us your tech questions. We will try our possible best to answer them. It could be a term that you don't understand. It could be a, a gadget you're having challenges with. It could be a decision you're trying to make with your next purchase. And it could be something that's just bugging you. Like what has been bugging me all day today. Now, I'm throwing this out there. All geeks, all nerds, all techies. Listen, today I experienced something that I have never before experienced. So, a, a, a client's phone, a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, was working perfectly. But with the SIM card, can make calls, can receive calls. And then his complaint was, he can't receive calls. When you try, you know, phoning him, it tells you the number is off. His SIM cards... He can make calls, but then when you try calling him back, it says the phone is off. Then we realize that this only happens when the Wi-Fi is on. As soon as the Wi-Fi is turned off, calls come in. When the Wi-Fi is turned on, calls do not come in. But when I switch to another network, it worked perfectly. When I switched back to that one, it stopped working. So I decided, you know what, let me put that SIM in another phone. It worked. Let me put the sim in another samsung with a, a wireless on it doesn't work and no 10 plus it didn't work calls don't come in it's very iffy like you can get out of 20 tries you probably get one or two hmm. i don't know how wireless is connected to the mobile network to affect it like that if anybody's in the telecommunications industry, we learn something new every day. This is an opportunity to educate us. I've thrown a problem out there. If you've ever experienced something like this and you have a solution, share with us. If you've ever experienced it and you also have that problem still ongoing, share with us as well. I think um, we've had this problem before. I, I think we've been... Never. No, we've been on this show where someone has talked about this problem before. And I think the one thing we asked the person to do, we never got feedback if it mm. worked, was to check the bandwidth settings. I did all that. Hey, I, I figured you would have done all yeah, of that. So if that didn't work, then... Flash the phone, flash the different wow. firmware, different modem. Still. Ah, well. That's a very interesting problem. Anyway, so somebody's asking, um, good evening, Spikey. Could you kindly reiterate the link for the registration for the Tech Job Fair? It's Tech Jobs Fair. Fair. F-A-I-R. F-A-I-R. Dot com. Right? No. Oh. <laughs> it's here. Techjobfairghana.com. Exactly. Yes. Techjobfairghana. So Prince, that's why you're here. That's why I said <laughs> Prince in the red corner. The red corner is always there, like killer corner. <laughs> anyway, so you can also call us on 0302-216-541. Yes. 0302-216-541. Or you can send us a WhatsApp, 055 quadruple one nine nine seven zero five five eleven eleven nine nine seven. What offer do they have for students who want to support themselves with something? I register for the online. How long is it going to be? Or we also start at 9 a.m. and end at 4 p.m. I'm sure they'll share the schedule once you're done registering. So just register and you can you can get all that information you're looking for. So we've got some messages popping in already. Before we start addressing the messages, Winston has the news. The news. Da-da-da-da. Yeah. Yeah. So today the show is mine. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we have given it to you. Thank yeah. You. So, um, before that, we would like to share our condolences. Yes, with the family of Christian Achu. Yes. Who sadly lost his life in the earthquake in Turkey. Yeah. Moments of silence. And we're back. Yeah. So, yes, the news. Okay. So, first in the news is that Twitter 
plans to charge non-subscribers. Keep remember Twitter had a subscription this thing for verification. Uh for text message based two factor authentication. I should know what a text message based two FA <laughs> moving forward, I'll call it two FA is basically an extra step of security where they send you a code via text message after you, you've entered after your you've password, your password yeah. to be to verify that it's really you. Now Elon Musk now of Twitter says that Twitter is being charged about sixty million dollars for what he says are fake two FA text messages. Some users have been alerted. I think Spike, you spoke, spoke yes. about this recently. I got it. Have I been alerted to turn off their text based two FA. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they will lose their accounts. No, you don't have that. No, or are you not alerted. No. Wow. I he does go. I barely to, use my barely Twitter. Uses it, so, uh, which I, mean, I shouldn't be. I, I use it more frequently, but I didn't get it. Okay. But then again, I don't use text based two FA. Yeah, no. you use an authenticator. Okay. okay. Yeah. You see. Hey, you let done. me finish. Okay. So Elon adds that authenticator apps that, that. are free and are much more secure. Now I have questions. I do. Two too. questions. First question is that why don't they just turn off the two FA on their side for the people who have it? Why are you threatening us with losing our accounts? I mean they need to make money. Yeah. Then second is why are paid users getting the choice to use what he calls a less secure? to a fee method yeah if you they say it's not to, secure they are going to turn it into something that is more secure it's premium package that no but, it's but still, you said it's not secure you, you said it's, it's less secure that they are going to take time and make it more secure what them. are you going to make more secure it's a text message <laughs> it's done it's, it's a, a text it's, message remember when so they'll text you a qr code in yeah. ascii exactly. yeah. Yeah. but remember when uh the previous one of twitter jack got hacked mm. it was literally through text based uh, to a fee yeah so clearly it's the end there are even methods to get past text-based 2FA that don't even require you to have the person's the phone. phone yeah. Like, you can literally intercept I the mean, text I mean, Anna taught us on this show. Yeah, so, really, I mean, it's Elon Musk's thing. So. But then again, so here's my concern, right? Text-based 2FA is essential. Very. Because, assuming you do not have... Um, you, you lose your phone, for instance. Yes, Authenticators, especially Google Authenticator, does not back up. Yes, and your, some some authenticators are tied to your device specifically. So you lose it. Like Dr. Pounds next door lost his phone and he's logged out of his Facebook because he doesn't have his backup codes and his account is secured by his, his authenticator. So his authenticator is somewhere generating codes every few seconds and he can't enter it because he doesn't know the codes. And so he can't log into his account. So he's going to have to prove to Facebook that he is who he is and we yeah. all know how difficult it is to reach uh-huh. Facebook support yeah. which I hope is in your news which when we we segue to <laughs> oh, that oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. We, we shall get there <laughs> <laughs> so like why why do I have to go give me that option like for instance I lost my phone I had to send my ID to LinkedIn because I wasn't using text based 2FA on LinkedIn and my authenticator is gone with the phone yeah Luckily, yeah. Gmail gives me text messages, so I could log into other platforms. Facebook, too, I can mm-hmm. log in with another device I've already logged into. Before. So it's it's very it's very very convoluted. Very rare. I think that what uh, everybody all that we sh- what uh, our best friends the G uh, G R D uh, oh G D P R G D P R yes G D P R they they should be looking into this to enforce security because yeah. it seems like okay if we know that text based uh, two factor authentication is not the best or has ways it can be hacked and authenticator apps are so intrinsic to your device that if you lose that device Akpa show what's, what's the what's next there? step we the, need the next else. step is for you to pay for or is it a chip that. inside your arm and then you verify mm, verify <laughs> <laughs> yeah Charlie what if you lose the arm ah then <laughs> Agbena ah, then face ID yeah so what if you get burnt voice ID Voice ID is not that secure. Please, no, right now, Seth, that David Guetta is using Eminem to perform in on the stages with but AI. No, yeah, but for a human being to hear, it will de- not be able to. It's very difficult for a human being to tell. But machines can tell what you call it yeah. to a certain degree. Because I mean, even Samsung's uh, uh, fingerprint scanner is sound based, and when there's water, because it blasts sound pulses to your to fill in the crevices. If there's water, there's a refraction of sound. Mm. Sound changes. Uh, it's wavelength in water. Yeah, yeah but Charlie, 
you, how many times have we watched? No, typical example. If I say, hey, Google, right now, a lot of people's phones are... Ah, yeah. your phone has, <laughs> <laughs> your phone has and There's up. so many people's phones that are supposedly trained, trained to, their, to voice. their voice. But my voice woke them up. And what if you have a generic voice? Yeah. Which we all do. Yeah, and we've seen people mimic others. I mean, I don't know. I feel like there should be another. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so next on the news. Next on the news. So as Spikey jumped. But are you, are you done with the Twitter news? Uh, I mean, uh, yes. Our producer here would like us to teach people how to use authenticator apps, even though we've just said that. <laughs> so no, no, <laughs> no, we've said text-based no, no, authenticators. We, we first have to tell listeners that um, I think March 19, if you don't take off the... 2FA um, text messaging, you are going to lose your Twitter account. It, it, and that's very important. It's, it just feels very cheap. That's just it's much nicer. Now, you, you don't have to worry. I mean, this is what I'm looking... This is what I think will happen. Many people will go back to not using it. Mm-hmm. I mean, they went to using it because they wanted to keep their accounts secure. Same. Yeah. Now, they will have to go back to not using it. But, I mean, if you are listening, you don't have to go back to not using it. You need to use, like get an authentication app or you get a security key i mean you go to the security section of twitter and then i mean there's a a button there that you can just click get a key but that's also i mean i mean yeah these are buying a security key i'm actually looking to so right now on my key holder i have a pen drive that i use to log into (laughs) machines i I don't know i just feel like i mean that's at home with crypto dealers yeah but, but for the average joe you're you're making this because the text based what was the easiest yeah yeah i just put my phone okay. number in i toggle it and then i get the text message i put you just the be there no yeah and then you get and you <laughs> just go and i don't know with the with the authentication app to you can't use your you can't use the app to get in you have to yeah. use a desktop yeah. yes to to, to set do. that thing up. it's it's ah. wait really yeah daddy elon yeah. is just making you, you can't it. use the app you need to you need a desktop ah wait what really so for you to to key in i mean so what they are saying is that you can't use the app when you are using the you have to use the authentication okay okay. so if you want to authenticate your password you have to do it in a web yeah and then it passes onto your app yeah why is he making this whole thing so convoluted? Um, when did like, this thing get so complicated? Why? 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 why He's do you trying have to, to make money. Like that? He, I don't know who sent him, but that Elon. He sent he loves you. He, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we do not. Okay, so nah, next on man. the news is someone some people love even less. Some people like Michael Ajete. <laughs> so Meta has joined the fold in the pay for verification wagon. So, if you know Meta, Meta is the parent company for Facebook and Instagram. And Facebook and Instagram this week are also introducing a subscription for verification model. You know, back then, it's very interesting how social so media... So, people are for blue tick pass. Yeah, it's, it's become very interesting how social media has shifted. Because a few years ago, social media needed these influencers, these very important people to be verified, to bring clout to the cloud and traffic to their platforms now they've gotten that now they're like eh, okay we don't like people again now pay yeah. it's it's very strange hmm. how this is happening but you let me continue so um the s- cost of this subscription for facebook uh is 11.99 dollars in ghana cities how much some of pay pay I'm just kidding. I, I don't know the numbers. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, and then interesting enough, iPhone users pay fourteen ninety nine because Apple tax. Yeah, because of Apple tax. Now, so if you're using an iPhone, you pay plus e levy. Then plus then you, you, know, first no, you, you pay a levy, Apple levy, levy. Then you pay e levy, <laughs> <laughs> then you yes. pay Facebook levy. Wow. <laughs> so uh, Meta CEO Michael's best friend Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> says that. This is a move to improve security and authenticity on Facebook and Instagram. He also says that... He says, chill. <laughs> <laughs> he also says that previously verified people would not be affected by this. Unlike and, Twitter. Yes. And for now, only if individuals will be able to pay for the services. Businesses will come soon. Now, this is my question for you. Do, for you guys, do you not think that it should have been the reverse. Yeah. I think businesses should have been authenticated because if you say that it is for security and authenticity, it is businesses that people used to hoodwink others. 
But I think both ways, it shouldn't be even allowed for people to pay for verification. If I'm a scammer and I, I, I create a, a Michael Ajete page and a Winston Witcher page and I say both of you are suffering from a chronic illness and so I want donations and I verify the page. Well, to Damn. Mark Zuckerberg's defense, to be able to get a page verification, you actually have to submit your government ID. How difficult is that? I, I mean, if they have your government ID, then they can verify you. But if they don't, then... Do you know how easy it is to get somebody's Ghana card nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is tell them that they, are, they have to submit it to win something. And Ghanaians will just take a picture of their Ghana. Exactly. People have it on their phones right now. I met people, someone lost their phone and they said, Hey, my Ghana card picture is on it. <laughs> like, of course. Yeah. So, if somebody submits a picture of your Ghana card right now and claims to be you yeah. and verifies their page, your existing page becomes a scam. Yes, because you didn't submit your Ghana card. <laughs> yeah. Do you get So now the scammer has submitted your, your Ghana card and mm -hmm. now you're going to submit your Ghana card. Mm -hmm. First come, first serve. I mean, let us hope that text-based 2FA will save you this time. Uh, oh, um, man, this is so wrong. I literally just signed up to the 2FA uh, app right. on my phone. Okay. Right now. Hmm. So you're good. Yeah. But you don't have text based two FA. No, I wasn't using it. Yeah, yeah. I mean I was just reiterating the fact that you don't have it. No. So you are safe. Why yeah. why why did you choose not to use it? This is Michael. <clears throat> just like we have Win a Winston, we have a Michael. <laughs> <laughs> On both extreme ends of the timeline, we have these two. Wow. Winston far. I would say right, <laughs> far west, far somewhere, <laughs> and then Michael far east. Yeah. So why, why did you choose not to use it? So already, yeah, I was using it for a while. But then when Jack got hacked, the previous one of Twitter got hacked. I like, well, then That's a bus. who am I? Yeah, why, who, who am I? I? <laughs> who am I? Literally, who am I? <laughs> I mean, granted, yeah, not people are not really doing those things, but. Better safe than sorry. Mm. And I already had the app-based authenticator using for other things. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Migrate. Let's just keep the train moving. Well, that's mm. good for you. Yeah. Imagine someone like me who changes phones like yeah. every month. Yeah. Then every month I have to move authenticate. Ah, Charlie. Actually, Loki, I've discovered that there's one way of handling this thing. Because you know all those things to do require sometimes a master password, a set of backup authenticators. Keep a physical copy. I actually, I have a literal safe box in my house. See why I said you are far east. <laughs> Winston is far west. Wait, do you have a box with your password in it? No. But I have a box with Some my... people use singing notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Michael uses a safe. Wow. <laughs> a secure box. Wow. Right? Or Which not... he probably built himself. <laughs> not... <laughs> From some origamo and... What, what, you know those Chinese password secure box that you push one wood here push that one like the ones they used in escape room i'm sure that's something like that that michael uses that'd be cool you know, that actually yeah. i want to build one that thank you like for putting that idea in my head so, so yeah I'm, I'm adding that to my building projects in 2023 Western, yeah next news yes so interesting news this one is actually very cool so a university of pittsburgh team of innovators have created an implant that restores some mobility to persons who suffered stroke and are unable to move all limbs perfectly oh. so the experiment was successfully tested on two people and it shows a very huge potential for the field in the future now one of the volunteers her name is heather uh, she was able to cut a steak and eat it by herself after nine years of little to no mobility in her left hand. Wow. So the implant basically works. They put it in your spine and it sends um, Synapses. electrical jolts to your spine. And then that is what helps to replicate the transfer of information. So unfortunately, though, the implant only lasts a month. And That's then it requires, yes, to be swapped. But they say it's for now. It's the beginning yeah. stages of this um, treatment and this experiment, to be honest. So Reminds me of my dad's defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> well, so any more? Any more news? Now, this news, all of the, uh, except Michael, will be excited by Michael. You can sigh, but if when once I mention this, you you know you are not part. <laughs> Do you know about the news? No, not yet. I'm waiting. But he's already sighing. Okay, so Chrome. Latest update <sighs> <laughs> has introduced a much much needed tools mm. to the software, and these are the energy saver and memory saver. 
tools. So finally, yes. <laughs> Chrome. After a thousand years, we have, we have three. <laughs> So Chrome has a rule the web. Well, yeah. So Chrome has a reputation of being very energy and memory draining. If you haven't noticed this, yeah. any of you guys listening, anytime you are using Chrome, yeah. your laptop, Charlie, it takes a beating. Your if, battery. If you really want to, <laughs> if you really want to know that it's true, you just go to your task, task manager. manager. So you can like, so your sort it button. <laughs> if you want to see this happening in action, you sure. go to your task bar at the bottom, right click. Right click it, go to task manager, and it will show you which is actually a good thing to check on. This is a security tip for everybody. If you do not want to know what is happening on your PC, look yeah. at your task manager once in a while because it shows you the CPU usage and then the memory, memory usage. usage, power memory usage, and everything running. of your so you can look in. There are certain background this if if you don't recognize it, yeah. kill it. And it allows you to kill those apps as well. Yeah, and task. And task. Me, I go to details. And yeah, like, and then look process tree. And then you look. So <laughs> this is one of the few ways you can learn to improve your old laptop's speed. Performance. Yeah, yeah. its performance. Because sometimes you are running some unnecessary things. And also, it is one of the best ways to help with the security. Because if, for instance, Spikey has mentioned this before, where there are certain hackers who can open your camera mm. in your, your laptop but they will turn off the light yeah. that shows that your camera is on. But it's very difficult for them to kill that task in your task manager. So, so if you see it's a camera running for no reason in your task manager, bro, beware. Yeah. So to add on to that, sometimes, and I have experienced that, it can be a bit daunting and overwhelming to figure out you're looking in task manager and you have all this list of apps. Yes. You don't know what is what. You don't even know if it is useful or not. Mm-hmm. If you put a little bit of work, rather than using Task Manager, there's an old program called Process Explorer. <laughs> yeah, Spikey knows it. So, of course. So, I suggest you rather go and download that. And Microsoft is actually hosted in Microsoft's website. So, just go to the version I find on Microsoft.com. Download that. You don't even need to install it. They literally ask you to agree. And it's the same as Task Manager. But I can show, it will also show you not only the tasks that are listed, but I also show you which program started the task. So if you started it yourself, it will show under Explorer. If it's something the computer started when it was booting, it will show under something else. If it was running off the back of another program, it will show yeah. over there and it will help you at least identify that, oh, well, yes, I didn't open this program, but then this other program, program. opened it and it doesn't really look like this. And also... It actually allows you to search for the programs online directly from there. So you don't have to memorize it yeah. and then go into your browser. So you can just directly search online. And and even has yeah, it even has a virus total section where you can send it to virus total or the guys virus total to check, oh, does this program ring any bells? Yeah. So it's a easier well, yeah, install it, make use of it, but it's an easier, safer, safer way of doing because it. it is entirely possible. And I've done this many times where you end uh, <laughs> a task tree and the entire and, machine shuts down. Yeah, there, yeah. I mean, a very clear example of what uh, Michael was talking about, where one software has another hidden package in it yeah. that's mm. triggered, is torrent, BitTorrent. I actually noticed this recently, where the BitTorrent app opened, I closed it, ended the task, and then I saw there was something called Torrent Cleaner. And then I realized that, oh, it was tied to BitTorrent. It was BitTorrent. You are, if you can see me, I'm doing air quotes in the air. BitTorrent bid to clean up whatever torrent file. Mm. You know, I don't use torrent. I should I should delete the app. <laughs> delete BitTorrent. Delete uTorrent. Those so, two yeah. are very bad programs to use now. Yeah. So uh, uh, let me go. Let me finish this news. Transmission is much better. Mm. But yeah, I didn't so say that. energy saver mode will limit any background website activity, such as visuals or videos, to reduce energy drain, which might actually affect your data. Because you know, when you've opened that tab in the background and explained a YouTube video mm. that you didn't mean to open, yeah. that's Where saving you. Where is it coming from? <laughs> that's saving you some data. Now, memory saver, on the other hand, will snooze any unused tabs opened in Chrome. Okay. Which is very, very important. Now, for us, the tab holders, because Charlie, mm, yeah. uh, they do pass. Uh, you don't need to worry. All you have to do is click that tab again and to reload mm. the tab. So, cool. Yeah. Cool. So, we're going for a quick commercial break. When I come back, I will go through your messages because I've seen you sent a lot and we'll try and respond to all of them. If not, Telegram way. We'll be right back. Homes, business.
businesses, communities, whatever the space, wherever the place, Azar is the paint. Azar paints are high quality, long lasting, and always give a great finish that will make your space shine. At Brighton, Azar, still number one. From the Azar Group. The other day, I visited Kweku at his spunky new office to congratulate him on opening his business. And man, was I impressed. The business is just moving quick. The sales, customers, everything is just working seamlessly. The secret, hmm. He said, it's empty and business broadband. In this fast-paced environment, we need fast and reliable internet to support all business types. No laggy online meetings, great download and upload speeds, impeccable business management systems, all inclusive. I mean, you can have it all. Shout! I signed on immediately. <laughs> to enable your business stay ahead and stay connected, make sure you're signed on to the best internet made just for businesses. MTN Business Broadband. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh and manage your account on my MTN app. Call 0244-308-111 for more information. MTN. And we're back. Are you looking for a job in the world of technology? Are you looking for a platform that equips you to land your dream job in technology? Then the 2023 edition of the Tech Job Fair is for you. It's happening at the Accra International Conference Center tomorrow, February 22nd, 2023, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The theme is Leveraging Technologies Create Inclusive and Sustainable Jobs. Institute of ICT Professionals Ghana and the AFOS Foundation are organizing it and is supported by a German Development Corporation under the Invest for Jobs program, Jobberman, Lene Services, MTN, GIZ, EHK, Netherlands Trust Fund, Admin Telecom, and others. If you want to participate or exhibit your tech roles, just visit techjobsfairghana.com. Techjobfairghana techjobfairghana.com or call or whatsapp 0242-912-027 or 0201-233-215 at 0242-912-027 or 0201-233-215 for more information the job fair is free and open to all so hi geeks my query is about phone charges can you get same charges that come with a device to buy yeah, so the answer to that is you can actually buy the original ones. Yeah, yeah we see you're suffering from it. It's messed up, and I've been trying. Nana Kuzi says it's messed up. He's struggling to get an original one. You just have to go to the re- original retailer. Yeah. And buy it. So if it's an Apple, go to. Hey. Uh, <laughs> and not there. If it's Samsung, go to Samsung. Go, go, go to where? Eh? <laughs> you can see the way my heart goes. That's not Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. You know, just get the plug. Okay. Let the plug buy for you. <laughs> Otherwise. Exactly. So good evening, Kobe. And how are you and friends? Like best well, okay. My desktop just working when I off and reboot it. Um just displaying power save mode. Even check VGA cable. VGA cable. And it gives the same. Please, what's what may be the cause? If you're getting power saving mode, that's from the monitor. That's the monitor telling you it's mm. in power saving mode. So it's either your monitor, your your signal cable, check yeah. your signal cable, or check your graphics card. Or check that if the desktop, if the lights are blinking, then it means there's a problem somewhere. There's so many things. Your RAM could contribute to that. Your processor, your your signal cable, just check. Um, Douglas from DC said, I've been thinking of how this crashed memory or crashed laptop and corrupt files, why does that happen mostly? So many reasons, Douglas. Yeah, crash. So, many. so normally when your laptop crashes and it's blue, can, you can read what caused yeah, the crash the error. and then you can look into the blue error. Blue screen of death, yeah. check the error, Google it. And then you find out Google why. With your Google Pixel 5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so next, um, we have a, a message from... Um, I can only hear my callers when I put my phone on speaker. On my iPhone 10. If you have an extra airport, I'll be glad to have it. Well, uh-huh. Spikey is selling one, so if you are interested, two actually, in two, yeah. So. <laughs> and this probably means that your speakers, yeah, your your, your earpiece. Yeah. So when we say earpiece, it's actually Watch the it. place on your phone where you hear. So mouthpiece is where you speak into. Yeah. Earpiece is the one, not the one you put in your earphone. Yeah. I mean your ears. Those are not yeah. your earpieces. So let me mention this news before we wrap up. Why you want to do this? No, this one is very funny. So okay. in befuddling news. A new survey shows that 14% of Gen Zers say they get all their news from TikTok. <laughs> wow. 1% of other generations collectively say they get it from TikTok. 
Google search seems to be the best. And I'm grateful and thank God that people still use Google is, instead of TikTok. I felt Michael would love to know this. Wow. <laughs> so people get their news from TikTok. Yeah. I, I mean, I hardly expect to go onto TikTok and find GBC news there. So, <laughs> Lawu for you. Well, <laughs> well, CNN, BBC and stuff are there. They don't talk about things in Ghana. <laughs> so you want to know about news in Ghana? I live here. <laughs> Go on myjawonline.com or adumonline.com well, and you get the news, not TikTok. On this note. <laughs> on this note, Geek Squad is brought to you by my MTN. MTN everywhere you go. Thank you very much for listening to us. You can catch us everywhere. Just Google hashtag Joy Geek Squad. Up next is the news.